Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve some bacterial growth related mathematical problems. In my one of my previous video, I have already discussed about some bacterial growth related mathematical problems. Link is shared in the description box. This is very important topic. For CSR NET, ICMR NET, GET and other exams, the question related to this topic is very important. So stay tuned in this video. The first question, if the generation time for a specific bacterium is 60 minutes and the initial population contains 10 to the power 2 cells, how many bacteria will be there after 2 hours of exponential growth? So we have to calculate the final number of bacteria after 2 hours of exponential growth. Here the initial population of bacteria meant mentioned is 10 to the power 2 cells and the generation time of the bacteria mentioned here is 60 minutes. So to solve this question we have to consider this formula f is equal to i into 2 to the power n where f is the final number of bacteria that is we have to calculate that i is the initial number of bacterial population that is 10 to the power 2 cells and n is the number of generation. Number of generation is equal to total time for division which is here 2 hours and divided by the generation time or doubling time. Here the generation time mentioned is 60 minutes. So the n is equal to 2. Putting this value in this formula, the final number of bacteria after 2 hours of exponential growth will be 4 into 10 to the power 2. CFU per ml that is 400 CFU per ml. CFU means colony forming unit. Next question. This is one of the question from uh, Get Excel Microbiology 2022. E. coli growing under favorable conditions doubles in every 20 minutes. If the initial number of E. coli cells is 100, what will be the logarithmic number of cells at 17th generation? Here it is mentioned that the doubling time is 20 minutes. As uh, here mentioned that the uh, equally cells doubles in every 20 minutes. So the doubling time or generation time here is 20 minutes. And the initial number of bacterial cell is 100. And we have to calculate the logarithmic number of cells. 17th generation. So to solve this question we have to consider this formula n is equal to log nt minus log n0 divided by 0 0.301 where n0 is the initial population number of bacteria which is here is 10 to the power uh, 100 and we have to calculate the uh, logarithmic number of cells after 17th generation. So the number of generation n is equal to 17 and nt is the number of population at team at time t which we have to calculate. By putting this value log nt is equal to 7.11 as we have to answer up to one decimal place. So the answer will be 7.1. Here the detail uh, uh, calculations mentioned just check it. Next question. This is the question from uh, Get Excel Microbiology 2021. The generation time of E. coli cell is 30 minutes. For an exponentially growing culture, the initial number of bacteria required to reach the, a number of 10 to the power 9 in 2 hours is? You have to fill in the blanks. So here the generation time mentioned is 30 minutes. And the cell is exponentially growing. And here the initial number of bacteria required to reach a number 10 to the power 7 cells. So the final number of bacteria here mentioned is 10 to the power 9. And you have to calculate the initial number of bacteria. And number of generation n is equal to the doubling time. Uh, total uh, division total time to our division divided by the doubling time or generation time 
here the generation time is 30 minute and the total time for division here is 2 hours so n is equal to 4 here after putting this value in the formula the answer will be 6.25 into 90 to the power 7 next question if a bacterial population increases from 10 to the power 9 cells to um, from uh, to 10 to the power 3 cells in 10 hours then determine the number of generation in 10 hour so here the initial number of bacteria is 10 to the power 3 and the final population will be 10 to the power 9 after 10 hour and you have to determine the number of generations in 10 hour to solve this question we have to consider this formula n is equal to log nt minus log n0 divided by 0 0.301 where n0 is the initial number of bacteria which is here is 10 to the power 3 and nt is the number of population at time t which is here is 10 to the power 9 putting this value the answer will be 20 generation just see this calculation the next question if a bacterial population increases from 10 to the power 9 cells to 10 to the power 3 cells in 10 hour then determine the growth rate constant to solve this question we have to consider this formula k is equal to log nt minus log n0 divided by 0 0.301 into t where k is the growth rate constant n0 is the initial population number of bacteria here the initial number of population of bacteria is 10 to the power 3 and nt the number of population at time t here the uh, final number of population at time t is 10 to the power 9 and n is the number of generation and t is the time after putting this value in this formula the growth rate constant that is k is equal to 2 generation per hour so the answer will be 2 generations per hour next question if a bacterial population increases from 10 to the power 9 cells to 10 to the power 3 cells in 10 hour then determine the generation time to solve this question we have to consider this formula g is equal to 1 divided by k where g is the generation time and k is the growth rate constant as we have already mentioned that k that is growth rate constant k is equal to log nt minus log n0 divided by 0 0.301 into t here the uh, initial number of bacteria that is in n0 is equal to uh, 10 to the power 3 and the nt the number of population at time t is 10 to the power 9 and t is time here t is 10 hour putting this value in this formula k will be 2 generation per hour so the generation time g is equal to 1 by k so g will be 0 0.5 hour per generation so the answer will be 0 0.5 hour per generation please remember all these uh, formulas you have to remember all this formula to solve any kind of this kind of question. If you uh, remember this all these uh, formulas you will easily uh, solve any uh, type of questions regarding this bacterial growth. So must remember this formulas. Next question. If a bacterial cell divides in once in every 10 minute and it takes 50 minutes to fill half a cup how much time it will take to fill the cup suppose uh, there are 500 bacterial population is required to fill half the cup we have to assume the bacterial population is 500 as there is uh, neither mentioned the uh, five, uh, um, um, the number of cells that re that is required to fill the half the cup so we just assume that the 500 bacterial population is required to fill half the cup and it takes 50 minutes which is mentioned here that it takes 50 minutes to fill half the cup then full the cup is 1000 bacteria 
if half the cup is 500 bacteria then full the cup will be 1000 bacteria here also mentioned that that the bacteria divides once in every 10 minutes so the doubling time here is 10 minutes as uh, the bacteria divides once in every 10 minutes to form 1000 cells it take 50 minutes plus 10 minutes that is 60 minute which is required to fill the cup as the growth is exponential these are uh, various types of bacterial growth related problem and these are very important for csr net icmr net get just remember all this uh, type of uh, mathematical problem and therefore you must remember this all this kind of formula if you know if you uh, unable to remember this formula you will be unable to solve this question so must remember all the formula we have already discussed here thank you please like share and subscribe to this channel